Hi, welcome back. So we are going to continue to calculate the tower height using k prime y a. Basically, in the question, the question will not give you the value for k prime y a in order to calculate z. So that's why we have to calculate the k prime y a using the equation. So make sure that you choose the correct equation for pack absorption column. This is this is the equation for uh, to calculate k prime y a for pack absorption column. Where you need to calculate for 1 minus y star m, y minus y i m, m prime, and 1 minus x i m. 1 minus y i m and 1 minus x i m is actually you have calculated before, previously, before you solve for a and b. So you just use the last trial to calculate 1 minus y i m and 1 minus x i m. Where for m prime value is actually the value for the gradient of equilibrium slope, which is in this question is 1.186 k prime y e and k prime x e is get from the question, and then after that you can solve for k prime e by rearranging this equation, and after you get k prime y e again. Substitute back into the equation, but before that, you have to complete to solve for y minus y star m and find in the appendix the equation to calculate y minus y star m is by using this equation where you have to use the value for y1, y2, y i star, and y2 star. Again, y1 and y2 you can get from the material balance. And y1 star and y2 star you can get from graph. Let me show you how to get the y1 star and y2 star from the graph. y1 star you can get from the graph is from P1. P1, you just drag the line, go to equilibrium line without going through the slope. So from P1 straight to equilibrium line, go to left, you will get the value for y i y1 star. And for y2 star is from point 2, go to equilibrium line. And this is your value for y2 star, which is 0. Alright. And then, after you solve for this equation, then you substitute this value into the last equation, which is to calculate z. And again, what you need to do is to rearrange the equation, make z as the subject, for easier for you to do the unit cancellation. The VAV you have calculated before, VAV, where you have to make sure that VAV, is the unit is standardized with the uh, mass transfer coefficient. Y1 and Y2 from material balance, S is the first contact area, and Y minus Y star M is the value from the previous calculation. Then you will get the Z, and the Z is, uh, and, and the Z is again, which is almost same with, with 2 meter. And next, to calculate height using HG and MG, number of transfer you need. So the equation used to calculate HG and NG is like this equation, which is HG is equals to VAV over single mass transfer coefficient in uh, in gas time S, okay, and NG is Y1 minus Y2 over Y minus YIM. These two equations has been appended in the appendix. Just so for HG, VAV is the V average, K prime Y is from question, S is from question, then we'll get one value for HG, number of transfer height. And NG, number of transfer units, Y1 and Y2, basically you, you have already know the value. And Y minus YIM is the value that you have calculated before, which is in this equation, Y minus YIM. It's this equation, just take this number, substitute into this equation, then we'll get this number, and Z is equals to hg times ng you just multiply these two values and you will get the z which is z is almost same value which is 1.946 which is almost 2 meters and last but not least calculate height using hog and nog the word og and hog and nog is refers to overall overall system so it is it must use the overall mass transfer coefficient so hog is equals to v average over Overall mass transfer coefficient in gas time time surface contact area. Okay, all of this you have you have already.
calculated all of these values, you substitute into this equation, then we will get this number, and then multiply with NOG, and then finally, Z is equal to HOG times NOG, again, you will get the value, is almost same, which is around 2 meters. That's all for uh, solving uh, the, the question from question number 5, chapter 3. Thank you.